everybody, welcome to 105th episode of Directly to You. I'm annoyed, and Parker's probably annoyed too. We lost the last episode. We were recording it. It was, you know, it was a fine episode, but now we got to yeah. do it all over again. You can support us, and maybe we'll get a better solution than this uh, in the future by going to youtube.com slash Fanatics4, twitch.tv slash Fanatics4, and clicking the join or subscribe buttons respectively and paying $4.99. Also, I didn't even say who. Well, I kind of said who we are. But picking, uh, you know, you got it. doing all that, you get exclusive emotes, you get loyalty badges, you get gaming time with us. Free switch keys from time to time. Get access to our supporters on Discord where we hang out and people play Call of Duty, apparently. Uh, also, you can join our Discord regardless. There's a link in the description. Say hello. And mm-hmm. Duncan might say yo, yo, yo. I don't know. Because apparently he doesn't do that anymore. Mm. Uh, but yeah, freaking video games. I played Am- uh, Animal Crossing. I wish. <laughs> Dude. I True. played mystery dungeon it was a good mm-hmm. old time i liked it fine it was an okay game and then i got further and further and further and then i was like i like this game more i still didn't evolve my eevee i wanted to but i got to play more to do it this game the story is like 15 hours uh and then like the rest of the game is like 150 hours so i got a lot more play time to do and i'm excited to do it Nice. What if the rest of the podcast we ever did was that pace? (laughs) Who knows? Uh, Yeah, uh, we talked a bunch about so many things, but the I'm playing this game that I'm wearing a shirt for called Wonderling or Wunderling, I think, as the trailer says it. Long story short, you check it. I'll post more stuff on my Twitter about it. It's been fun. Um, I'm almost done with it, and uh, but it's good. It's a platformer kind of thing you auto run but then you have to jump and you get more abilities as you go through and you're pretty much a goomba kind of dude who's trying to beat up the good guy quote unquote who seems like maybe he's not really that good of a guy but he's not like a bad guy guy just like sort of not the best at the same time i'm gonna find out when i beat it that's yeah. it. Also, for like, the record, I'll talk about Mystery Dungeon more next week. Right now, <laughs> break out. I don't want to. Yep. Uh, so we're going to talk about news now, dude. Yeah. Specifically, one news story because like because we're skipping all the rest Tyler's of them. Video. <laughs> Nintendo did Lego things with Mario, man, and it's a video game and a Lego all in one. <laughs> I want to know if Mario Man just then was Mario Comma Man or Mario Dash Man. Like, with Mario Man or, also, like, why is Mario not, Man. Th- why is this not the Mario Maker Lego set? Mm, you ever think of that? Ooh, that's a good b- branding, I guess. Maybe that would detract from the Lego branding or something. But, no, I see what you mean. Oh, also because the I think the Maker branding is, like, they it's want like to redundant. Tell, it's like can, saying Lego twice. Also, that's very true. So, but yeah, it's a it's a thing. I'm not going to share my screen again this time because that slowed down my internet for some reason. That was weird. Um, but uh, you've seen it. Everybody's seen it. Lego Mario. They did it. They partnered with they them. They did it. They and did it. The one thing we talked about this, but I'm curious about now. It's like if kids are going to play it the way that the trailer shows it or not play it that way. Also, the Legos kind of don't look like real Legos, which is just funny and kind of weird. But like my, what I guess about that is probably Nintendo wanted to make it look more separate than regular right. Legos for, I don't know, brand recognition so that it couldn't be mixed in with other things as easily. Because now if you have the Lego movie and they want to use Mario in it, it'll look weird. They'll be yeah, de-incentivized like, from putting Mario in the Lego Mario. movie because it's like, it looks not like Lego Mario. So Yeah. And as far as like Mario, like how he looks visually, he almost has the maker hat, but it's red. <laughs> that's true. Um, also, another thing that's interesting that we, I mean, we could even really go into detail before about the design of the Lego. But no, like, we didn't. That's there's true. no swapping heads here, man. <laughs> that's true you're not giving mario a different head no nope. also they gave luigi the short end of the stick where's luigi maybe he's dlc <laughs> <laughs> maybe you print out a sticker it's got luigi stuff on it and you Isn't it, on. That, that's already a thing like he's a mini fig or whatever like you just buy him separately he's like 15 dollars yeah, I don't totally. know how much those things are. Somebody that collects Legos, let me know how much a, like one Lego man costs mm-hmm. separately. Um, yeah, do you? Okay, so we talked about this before. Uh, I I feel like I might know the answer. Um, mm-hmm. Do you think they're going to turn the do any Lego Mario game? It, it, will there be any? 
Lego um, Mario video game. No, and not even that because I'm gonna. Lego I am gonna Mario broaden it past that. Video games. Will will this will partnership? Lego Mario be oh in goodness. Lego Indiana Jones? <laughs> yes. <laughs> More. This podcast is a disaster. It's a disaster. What is happening? <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I more. Yeah, I don't know if like I, I'm curious to see how everybody else is going to hear this when it's all said and done. I know if they're going to hear what I hear, or if they're just going to like straight up just hear. And then they're like, "Why didn't they answer that question?" <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Let us know in the comments. It's not okay. So it's not my internet speed. It's my internet speed is 140 megabits per second. So like, big oof. 150, 160, which is funny because I only pay for 100. So it's just Zoom, (laughs) being Zoom. I mean, which is interesting because we never have these type of problems. It's weird. So we'll we'll keep trying for now. If this crashes, that we're done. (laughs) But um, (laughs) but yeah, do you think this partnership is going to be anything more than exactly what we're seeing right now? Um, I think that largely depends on how successful it is. Mm. Um, I think that Nintendo probably sees it as like, because their phrasing is like open but close at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Where it's like, it could mean that they're partnering with Lego for the foreseeable future and they're going to do more Nintendo properties. Something that I thought was interesting that I saw people tweeting about was like, now Nintendo can end their Mega Bloks deal with uh, mm. Pokemon. And it's like, no, nah, that's a very separate thing uh, <laughs> because yeah. Pokemon Company has that deal, not Nintendo. So, yeah. I, like, they're not going to like then say, well, we're on Lego now. Sorry, Bucko. You know, like, um, So, yeah, I think that it could mean either thing. If this doesn't succeed as much as they wanted to or if it doesn't exceed their expectations, then it might just live and die as a Mario thing. And then, like, not even getting the Luigi minifig, dude. Uh, But if this does, like, really well, then I can see them doing, like, their Zelda and Ducky Kong and, like, all that stuff. And then I'd be curious to see if they gamify that somehow. Yeah. That would be neat. Yeah, I mean, Donkey Kong seems like that could be a pretty similar similar kind of gamification as far as it's just platforming, you know, so jump on things, get some bananas, whatever. But What if they do Donkey Kong, like OG Donkey Kong? Oh, yeah, that could be fun. And like, then at they, that point, they, is Mario they do like the Mario? NFC, like the sensors or whatever. Yeah, because it's like you already have part of it, you know? You yeah, have but like he's man. so big. So like it would have to be a really big thing which is fine you know you could do that also it could be instead of it being like pieces that you put together it could be one board or whatever that has slots in it that you can like change where the things are yeah and then like i guess it could just be like more digital yeah uh, where it's like you're not literally throwing barrels at this mario Uh but like if he lands on like it's like a board game almost where it's like oh you rolled a three i was about to say barrel is and then he's um, a Donkey Kong, like traditional Donkey Kong board game would be mm-hmm. really good. There um, it is. Because, did it. yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of like a shoots and ladders type situation, but more oh, Mario. Candyland. Candy <laughs> which, you know, those are kind of the worst kinds of board games yeah, there are. They're but like who, barely, they're barely I board know. games. Yeah. Anything where all the whole game just is determined by the dice you roll and yeah. that's it. Yeah, you make no type of decision. Uh huh. Yeah. (laughs) Just like, I'm not even going to say that. (laughs) Yeah. It stinks. I like like more strategy. Yeah. Party games. I'm down with party games. Oh, man. Like Monopoly. Everybody has fun parties when they're playing Monopoly. Nobody's upset after that. Not a person. (laughs) Um, yeah, I don't know. So we also, last time we read out some stuff Miyamoto talked about, but in general, it seems like Nintendo wants to, or especially Miyamoto, but Nintendo wants to branch out and be, just be, you know, doing more things, more all-encompassing as far as an entertainment company, rather than just, just you know, making video games. Exactly, man. Mm-hmm. Which it feels like, ironically, they used to do a little bit more than they do now, where like they had manga for more things. Like there's a Splatoon manga, I'm pretty sure, mm-hmm. but there used to be, yeah, like Zelda manga and yeah, I don't know if they, I stuff. don't know if that was like a thing that they ever like started doing, you know, where it's mm-hmm. like this is a thing we're doing. 
Right. It, there were just like one-off instances where like, it makes sense to have a Twilight Princess manga for us for some reason. It makes sense to have a Splatoon manga because it's the freaking biggest thing in Japan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So like they, they did stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas here it feels more like a concerted effort to have their yeah. IP represented as, in as many places as possible. And it's not just this thing of like, we have this specific partnership with Viz Media or whatever mm-hmm. to have this uh, one, uh, like, I don't know, issue or, or like freaking storyline for this manga or whatever rather they're like we want all our games to have manga and freaking movies and like you know like that sort of thing where it's like a package deal for everything mm-hmm. yep we're like if they if they were marvel and they had and they were going under they would sell like the mario film rights and they would <laughs> sell like the donkey kong film rights uh-huh. you know? <laughs> yeah donkey kong really like i mean i made a Donkey Kong video a couple weeks ago, but like it surprises me how um, how many people like Donkey Kong. <laughs> no, just how unimportant it's been in Mario's roster lately. You know, like because for a, in the just in the sense that like like Donkey Kong was in Mario Kart. He's a Mario. No, I, yeah, but like he's become instead of being like I mean there are still are Donkey Kong games, but instead of being like there's Mario, there's Donkey Kong, there's Zelda and Link and stuff. It's he's become more of a subset of mario in a lot of regards than i mean like he doesn't have his own games as often as yeah or not even just games but i mean obviously games are the main part of it but like just as character recognition he's like a cast of mario kind of stuff as ip and stuff like that goes there's not a whole lot of like donkey kong is just donkey kong anymore you know I mean, again, I, it still happens. Tropical I, freeze, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. I think but comparatively, I think that's kind of one in the same though, because like they're not yeah. going to like tote Donkey Kong out and be like, "We got the new Donkey Kong toy line" or whatever. Mm-hmm. If he doesn't have a video game, right? You know? But even I mean, like, or they I guess wouldn't I'm, have in the past. But yeah. now it seems like they're. they're more- I guess I'm thinking like maybe you know like promotional material for yeah. if they're doing like the you know Nintendo Switch Online video, they've right. got Mario in there and they've got Bowser in there and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you know, but you, it's not like you're going to see Donkey Kong showing up in there being like, I'm Donkey Kong, you know, the yeah. most recognizable he's been recently was in the, um, King K rule and Banjo and Kazooie trailers. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know. I think, Smash, I think that, that that's less so like, I think it's almost the opposite as far as like the reason for that like it's the opposite of like it being because he's like his own thing and like the, like he's less recognizable and stuff like that i think he's not in those because he's his own thing mm-hmm. like the switch online trailers are very much so these are mario characters and i don't think they want him to publicly be known right. as a mario character yeah they're like it's mario and friends and he's and friends sometimes yep. but he also does his own thing mm-hmm. in his own game so I'd like I'd like Donkey Kong to be more of a standalone. Give thing Donkey again. Kong Legos, man. Yeah, that's exactly. What we're so um, that's any of the last thoughts on any more thoughts on Lego Mario stuff? I want Lego Splatoon. I want Lego uh, Kirby. <laughs> but like, I don't know what Lego Kirby would even be. I guess like you just give him hats, you know, like you beat the, the guy and then you take the hat off and then you give him the hat. Mm-hmm. And he, it's, it like, he gets the copy abilities. Cause I was going to say like, he can't like inhale Legos, <laughs> but like they don't have to go that far. You just take That's the true. hat off. Yeah. <laughs> or I mean, it's something in his, like the little screen that Mario has in his belly. You know, like Kirby can yeah. just have a screen as well and like you stomp on somebody and then you have a little fireball in there. And then the next things you do, you just fireball. Yeah, but they could just get mad. Just get mad. You know, Legos have things on the top of it, except for Mario. Mario doesn't. But usually they have a thing on top of their head where you can put something on there. So like this specific Lego could have a thing on his head so you put a hat. It's true. It is true. Man, my internet's still doing well. I don't, again, I don't think it's my internet, but whatever. I'm leaving the speed to the Zoom, uh, Maybe Zoom's so having problems. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe the freaking cor- coronavirus is affecting Zoom. No. <laughs> maybe so. I don't even know. <laughs> um, you know what? I uh, yeah. Let's we'll keep trying a little bit longer, but this is like painful um what? we love you guys we very much want a podcast 
No, just like, because even like during us saying that, it was doing it again. I did just check and my upload speed is like, it was fine. And then all of a sudden it was very not fine. Oh, so maybe it seems like it's why. my upload speed that's like kind of janky. And I don't Oof. know what to do to fix that, but. Who knows? Let's just get through the videos and the well, Q&A, hopefully, yep. you know? <laughs> that's funny. Let's do your video first, um, just so it's something fresh at least. Okay. <laughs> um, you made a video. Thoughts? I surely did. It's fine. I liked it. It's another Animal Crossing video. I'm debating maybe making another Animal Crossing video. <laughs> but I don't know. Because, yeah. like, it, I don't know. It's just this weird balance. Because, like, again, in my head, I'm like, people, you know, our subscribers might be getting tired of Animal Crossing. But, yeah. like, viewership-wise, it very much so does not look like that. Because yeah. whenever we're, we try to do that and, like, say, like, oh, people might be tired of, I don't want to make another one of these. Mm -hmm. And, like... Uh, but whenever we do that, they don't watch that video. And mm -hmm. then we all flock to the Animal Crossing one. Yeah, it's tricky. I mean, and it's probably like, I think it's that we know specific people from, you know, Discord or whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't know, that there's specific people where it's like, they don't really care about Animal Crossing. And we don't want the people that we like have names and faces to, mm -hmm. to be disappointed in like not enjoying the content we're making and stuff. Cause that's right you know, that's part of the demographic um, and people that we care about. But at the same time, those, you guys are also the people, I mean, it's the people listening to this podcast. If you don't care about Animal Crossing, but you're listening to this podcast, you're probably the person that's going to keep following anyway. So, yeah. you know, but do let us know. Cause like, that would be good to know. Like if you're like, yeah, I'm going to stop watching your channel because you're doing too much Animal Crossing stuff. <laughs> like that would be important to know, you know? Yeah. Um, but if it's anywhere in between, then, you know, We'll just see what happens, I guess. Well, that's no. Regardless, I'm not going to be making an Animal Crossing video because I don't have anything else to say until after it's come out. <laughs> How dare you. How dare you. So, there's that. Uh, cool, we have some comments. First up from Shepherd Bowie. Boy, I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, that's an O. I thought it was a U with a whatever. Uh, said, I'm more interested in playing this game more than Smash. I enjoy Smash, but that game mostly depends on skill to be good at it, which I have none. I lose almost every match I ever play online and play it against my brother-in-law and sister, and my sister isn't normally good at any video games. This game doesn't require the same skill, and it appears as a very chill and relaxing game. So I pulled this comment because I was kicking myself right after I read it because I was like, I wanted to talk about that. Like that very <laughs> specific thing where uh -huh. it is, a, it's a game that like, um, there's like a spectrum in like a lot of Nintendo games where it's like, there's, there's games that are like either very skill based and then there's like the middle line, I mean the middle ground and then there's the other side of that mm -hmm. uh, where I feel like. I don't know, like very skill based would probably be more so like the Breath of the Wilds or whatever, right? Where it's like, if you're not like a gamer, you're probably not going to understand this game. Um, and then there's like the Smash Brothers and the Splatoon where it's like, there's a skill ceiling where it's like, you can get really good. Right. But also like, if you're not good, you can probably do fine against <laughs> your friends. Yeah. Um, and then there's like Animal Crossing where it's like, that just is all out of the window. It doesn't matter. There's no skill involved. It's just uh -huh. you chill, man. You just hang out. <laughs> It is funny that like people, I, I work with a guy who's just pretty competitive in general. Um, and uh, there was like breath, he played breath of the wild a good ways after I'd played breath of the wild. And I think I might've said this on here before, but like he was the one that was like, um, he was just like, yeah, I just use bomb arrows for everything. Just like everything. I just go and find and just use bomb arrows. And, like you want to kill Lionel? Use some bomb arrows, um, which was, funny because the way he was saying it like i'd be like yeah that's fun my strategy i like to do this and like was talking about it as if like we can do things different ways and he was like uh or you could get a bunch of bomb arrows bomb and blow arrows. them up like that's way more efficient and that kind of thing so he's playing stardew <laughs> valley right efficient. now or you know something along those lines no, i was i was laughing because it'd be funny if that was like actually how he felt or it's like kind of yeah. the opposite of that really yeah because like, finding the how much are bomb arrows like 500 Pretty expensive, if I remember right. Um, but he's playing Stardew Valley now, and it's a similar kind of thing where, like, I like to talk about our gaming experiences or whatever, D&D &D campaigns or whatever. He's super big into D&D. &D. So I like to talk about them in a way of, like, oh, that's interesting that you did it like that. Oh, but mine was, like, you know, just comparing but in a like complimentary sense or like and he's more so like nah the way you did it is stupid yeah you exactly it's like, like <laughs> yeah which is just and so bomb arrows again so mitch and i very often like something will happen and we'll just be like 
Bob Maris. <laughs> um, but it, I mean, which is totally fine if that's the way he wants to enjoy it. But he's playing Stardew Valley right now. So that's a, that's a fun one. Um, what's, it, what's his thing in this? He's like, man, I just turned everything into beer. Uh, <laughs> turn, turn the beer. Um, I mean, it's, it's less so with this where there's things that we still, um, I don't know, compare. <sighs> I got distracted by some other things for a second. So the, it, there's not any specific ones, but like just in general, the just we talk about it is um, more along the lines of that. Uh, so it's funny, but it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. The reason yeah, I got that makes sense. The uh-huh. Animal Crossing thing. I I can uh, pff, I always get these confused. I sympathize with that. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um. But yeah, because. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't feel like having to be good. <laughs> so uh-huh. I just want to chill out and play a game that I don't have to be good in. <laughs> yep. It's true. Uh, next comment from Kayla Myers said, I only just had this thought after watching the video. First off, great video. Thanks. Secondly, I think Animal Crossing is a great game for me personally because of my ADHD. It's a game I can play anytime I feel up to it and doesn't make me feel pressured to do one single thing. It's a great game to play when I have had, when I have bad physical pain days as well. Nice. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, especially since there, I mean, there is like a lot of things to keep you occupied. Mm-hmm. You know, where it's like, I'm going to do this. No, nah, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm going to do this now. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back to the first thing I was doing. Okay, I'm going to do the second thing. All right, I'm going to do another thing that's new that I didn't uh-huh. mention. <laughs> it's true. I, I mean, everybody I was saying in the comments that the freaking stock market is going to be back, and I'm excited. <laughs> oh, you're freaking rich, dude. Yeah, man. Just keep selling those bomb arrows. Until the freaking coronavirus hits Animal Crossing, and then... Um, the stock market is going to plummet and turnips are only going to be like a dollar. Yeah. And I spent 150 bells on it or whatever. I can't and believe you do such a thing. Money. Yep. I'm upset already. <laughs> <laughs> My dog is freaking out in the background, which is, I don't even know what, I, I don't know. It's funny. He's having a good old time. Um, Seven said, I He's wish I'm also could... upset that we lost the podcast. He is so upset. He's mad about it. Uh, Seven said, I wish I could get this game at launch because it looks super cute and I've always wanted to try Animal Crossing. Sadly, though, due to budget constraints, I'll have to wait until my birthday, which is all the way in June. Hopefully there will be cute boys streams so I can live vicariously through you guys. Yo, we're going to do so many streams. It's going to be late. I think Bob is supposed to be streaming it at launch. So I don't know. Maybe I'll be a part of that. Who knows? Nice. Yeah, let me know because I'm down to something. Yo, it's going to be late. Yeah. Um, my comfort game at the moment is Dark Souls. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, but I'm not talking about banging your head against the same boss over and over again, but the act of farming souls. I enjoy just switching off my brain, going to an area I know well, and working off, working on my strats. Or working on my stats, sorry. That makes sense. I kind of did that with Bloodborne. Where it was like, mm. the, the, it's specifically like, I, like, the, like, once the game clicked, where I was like, oh, I understand this game. Mm-hmm. It makes sense <laughs> in the like first area. Yeah, like, yo, I'm just freaking destroying the mm-hmm. uh, bloodthirst beast or whatever his name is. The first yep. werewolf, big werewolf man, uh, him. I was like, yo, he sucks now. <laughs> so I just would uh-huh. grind the, around that area, and then he died, and then I couldn't do it. Yep. I mean, grinding, like having to grind at a game is lame, but grinding also can be fun. You know, just like I think going out. It and- depends. I don't think the act of grinding is fun. Like, I don't know if I would describe that as fun. I would say if the gameplay is fun, having more re- more reasons to do that specifically. Mm-hmm. I mean, but it could be rewarding and fun, I guess, are yeah. somewhat interchangeable sometimes. Because, right. like, in Animal Crossing, a lot of the individual gameplay things seem like they themselves aren't necessarily fun. But it's mm-hmm. lots of rewarding things, so grinding could be a similar kind of thing where it's like right. i don't really I, care I just, about fighting I, I think, 100 I think in, pidgeys but i think in this case specifically it's more of a thing of like grinding is fun because it gives you an for like yeah. bloodborne and like mm-hmm. j- just these games and also like games like smash brothers or whatever right where it's like playing smash brothers is fun so the act of like getting better at smash brothers in a vacuum is not fun but because Smash Brothers is fun for me specifically, mm-hmm. it's fun. Yeah. No, <laughs> so, sure. like, 
I don't know if you like walking around your house and it, like you got to lo- mow your lawn and it gives you an excuse to walk around your house. That it, it's like that kind of relationship. <laughs> True. Um, and then the comment continues and says, I've also always loved Pokemon. So that's on there too. And since the Switch's launch, it's become kind of a joke that I'll play Zelda Breath of the Wild obsessively for a week, forget about it as soon as something new and shiny comes along. But then suddenly I find myself back in Hyrule again. The same way with Stardew Valley, which I especially enjoy on Sundays. That's interesting. <laughs> Wait, does something specifically happen in Stardew Valley on Sunday? No, because it's not tied to your um, it's not tied to your live calendar. Oh yeah, true. It's like Harvest Moon, where it's like day twelve of spring or whatever. Yep. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. That is <laughs> specifically Sunday. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think the only game I have like that. I tr- I've tried several times because I love Breath of the Wild, mm-hmm. but it's definitely not the type of game that I want to replay. <laughs> like, I, I've been wanting, I've been thinking about going back and replaying it recently, but I've got other things and like, I, I'd kind of rather wait for Breath of the Wild 2 at this point exactly. too, because, because I know it's coming. It's like, okay, well, I'll just wait for it and then it'll be that much more fun. I just feel like for me breath of the wild whenever i go to play it i'm like i did everything that there is to do yeah right (laughs) in my head uh so i'm like it's it feels better mentally to think about wanting to replay it but then when i go do it i get to the first freaking i get off the plateau and i'm like okay i'm done (laughs) i had enough yeah yeah i mean that's the thing is i think there's a most games I play in a way where it's like, this will have been my one experience of it, right. you know, where like, I, I'll just do everything. That's why I do things a more completionist route because like, I don't want to have to spend 40 hours to get back to the 40 hour mark to then try this yeah, thing then differently. Do new things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's so, how I feel about that game too. Yeah. With uh, uh, Breath of the Wild specifically. I, I do. Cause I never got all the moons in Mar- uh, Mario Odyssey. Mm. I wanted to. But then it lined up bad with like other releases, like other crap came out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so That's like, oh, when I, this. <laughs> I so I hundred percent of that, and my um, the amount of time I spent in it wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be, or whatever. Which is I interesting. I put like like sixty ish hours or whatever. Which I mean, because I mean, mm-hmm. I like that game more than I like Breath of the Wild because yeah, it's like game. more mechanical and right. all that stuff. Um, but I played Breath of the Wild for longer. Yeah. Because of that reason. Uh huh. Um, That Breath of the Wild is less mechanical and stuff like that. And also timing, where it was like this thing of, um, you're making me freaking pull out my card on camera and stuff. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, but Breath of the Wild is like, with timing that came out and i couldn't do youtube because i didn't have my stuff like my camera and all that stuff so like i just had my switch and i was like well mm-hmm. i guess i'm playing this game because yeah. there it is <laughs> and i played through the game and put like 200 hours in it or whatever mm-hmm. and then never really did that again except for what smash brothers because smash brothers is like death by a thousand cuts right yeah and i'll pick this up and play it for an hour today and then 500 days later 500 you know. days later yeah that's um I think it's funny because, yeah, with Mario Odyssey, so I 100 percented it, and, like, Bob will talk about how he's got, like, 100 hours in it or something like that. I'm like, I think I've only got – I mean, I could check. Um, but I want to say I've only – well, actually, I can't check without having the disc – or the thing for it because I don't think it's in my recently played. But I, I feel like it's, like, maybe 50 hours or something like that. You heard um, it here first. Parker Deal sneak this in Bob saying Bob sucks at Mario. <laughs> It's exactly what I said. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, it could be that it was longer than that, too. But that was one where it was <laughs> I like, you were going to say, it could be that he sucks. No, <laughs> no not at all. Um, it could be that I played longer. Uh, but that's one where it just felt like I did every single thing that there is to do in this game. And it wasn't as, or there's less left to do than in other games in a more condensed amount of time. But I mean, that's also platformers. That's just the way they work. Like if I did every single thing in Mario 64, it would take me a lot shorter than everything in Odyssey. So yeah, I think I got like six hundred moons or something. Nice. And then I was like, I, I wasn't even like I'm done. I was just like, other stuff came out, and I was like, well, I gotta freaking play this now. Yep. <laughs> um. In any case, c- 
continuing along, last comment from your video, Silver Dragon Eyes said, I love Animal Crossing because I'm a creative person and Animal Crossing gives me a lot of ways to be creative. I also like to see how things change over time and I love how chill Animal Crossing is with its overall design. There's no real pressure to do anything. It's like taking a stroll through a park after a long day's work. Though it's definitely not my favorite game, my favorite game is Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is challenging. The monsters act alive and believable with beautiful animations and unique behaviors. It's also nice that I that it doesn't take forever to get to the fun stuff. As creative as I am, I also love problem solving. Every fight with a difficult boss allows me to understand it better, and eventually I can read its movements so well I can practically dance with it. I also love survival games, Seven Days to Die, Ark, games with good stories, games with an obscure meaning like Journey, unique problem-solving games like Shadow of the Colossus and The Last Guardian, and of course, sandboxes. Minecraft is popular for a reason. Yeah. I always feel like, well, not always. With the with this video and the the last Animal Crossing set of videos, I guess, where I'm trying to explain it, and everybody's like, specifically like the Animal Crossing fans and stuff, they're like, man, you do a great job of explaining that. And I'm like, do I? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Because uh, then there was another comment that was like, I don't, I don't understand why people uh, compare Minecraft to this game. And it's like, I don't know. I think, I think, nobody's saying that like Minecraft is like a social simulation game. Like that's mm-hmm. not the point of the comparison. It's just like the the value proposition is very similar. And like the 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 feeling of accomplishment is the same Mm -hmm. where it's like the game doesn't necessarily make you do anything, but when you do it, it feels good because that was your decision to do that thing and you did it. And there Mm -hmm. it is, man, I beat the nether dragon or I freaking built my, I mean, paid off my house or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, Same experience really. Um, Yeah. uh, Buying a house and beating a dragon. (laughs) Same thing. (laughs) Pretty much the same thing. Yes, uh, but as far as Monster Hunter, I wish I liked Monster Hunter. <laughs> I wish I did. I man, Mitch loves Monster Hunter, and I. So you feel my pain. You also wish you loved. Monster yeah, Hunter. <laughs> like I. But for me, it's also a thing. Like it's not. I think the reasons that we because you can play multiplayer it, games because you're freaking. Ugh. I mean, that's pretty much that's it. <laughs> like, um, for reason, I mean, among other reasons, like scheduling or whatever, like, especially co op type multiplayer games, like, it just doesn't, wouldn't happen that much with just the way that I function in life or whatever. Because, yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah it's, it's better for me to not have to worry about that. It's, right. Um, unless it's something that it's like every Tuesday at 7 p.m., I do this thing. Like, that, that could be fine. Um, yeah but yeah, uh, to be fair i'm also like if it's like a appointment thing where it's like mm-hmm. it, ha- it has to be something like that like me and falcon played smash brothers for a while mm-hmm. but we haven't done it in a while and by a while i mean like a week and a half or something um <laughs> where it's like the, the regular time 7 p.m that's where we're playing smash brothers uh-huh. uh but be anything like man i gotta beat this boss and i'm waiting for my friend to do like uh, like mm-hmm. Playing games uh, for for me is like definitely a thing of like when I can I will you know yeah. <laughs> um, so it's like ah oh, something's rendering or I'm editing this thing or I'm not doing nothing else I guess yeah. I'll play that mm-hmm. um, so yeah if I, if it was like a like a Monster Hunter sort of situation mm-hmm. and since the gameplay does not make me want to play the game more <laughs> yeah right the thing that would make me want to play the game more is that whole like that's true yeah. experience of like it being a group thing of like this mm-hmm. is what we do is we play animal i mean freaking animal crossing is we play monster hunter uh and i don't have uh-huh. friends that play that game, so. yep i need to figure out if i'm gonna get animal crossing digitally or physically digitally get it digitally so i would normally say that um but there's a chance that if oh, Ashley, we'll wants, Ashley it, wants, wants to play it, to play yeah, it. Cause true. we can do the whole second account thing where she plays it on my profile right. and hers, but like, that's also not fun to be like, yeah, oh, this is like my profile or my account, you know, whatever yeah. that whole deal. So I don't know. Um, I wonder if local wireless would work. Probably not. I would bet, but because you had to turn off Wi-Fi, mm-hmm. but local wireless isn't Wi-Fi. Yeah. It is Wi-Fi. It's not. Yeah. Cause I've definitely done it outside like it's like bluetooth kind of a thing yeah, so i don't know if it matters that much 
because it's not like she's like hoarding gold coins on her switch account i think it's more of like a ownership type thing too of like if she were to play it on her on her switch then she'd be playing it through her profile and like i know it feels kind of like i'm just borrowing somebody else's game by playing it through my profile or whatever as opposed to yeah you know this is like my island and that kind of thing that's true that's true but i mean then wait if you're getting it physically then you can't we won't be able to play together yeah you can't play together so like if you're going to get to it just get them both digitally (laughs) but then i have to buy two copies you You have to buy two copies either way no i just buy one and we just pass and then you play and we just don't play locally yeah you or you that's dumb buy two copies (laughs) (laughs) that is significantly twice the money um it but yes though. and it's twice yeah. the money speaking of that we did so twice just, the okay videos. here's what you do here i had the perfect plan i had the perfect pl- the best plan i'm you ready buy it the first time digitally yeah and then if she likes it enough yes. where she thinks then that, i get physically no then you I'll probably just buy, digitally buy it for her digitally right because yeah. animal crossing is 1000 percent the type of game where it's like at first you'll play it a lot mm-hmm. but if you're in and you like it mm-hmm. it's something that you poke in and you're like oh, i'll play this for an hour mm-hmm. today or whatever and then pop back out and that's annoying yep. if it's physical and you know, yeah it's like it's way it's a way better game digitally it's true speaking of way better things um digitally <laughs> no my video just kidding um, <laughs> that was a joke mm. uh-huh. um yeah here we go let's let's do it um we had rob from rule to review for this video yeah. that was fun yeah uh, again at this point we're going to start rehashing stuff from earlier so we're probably not going to spend a ton of time on this just because i don't want to and it's getting yeah. later and towards dinner time yeah also, um i'm getting food man. nice <laughs> so any any case rob it was great having him on video um hopefully that'll happen again sometime with other videos when I maybe he'll be on my video who knows maybe so and I like looking ahead to and especially after like meeting people at PAX I was I'm like it would just be fun to do more more Plans. collaborations just because they're a good old time so you have more people to meet at PAX is that <laughs> yeah exactly so um but yeah let's get into some comments first one from Nikki Scott said for the Simpsons fourth year on the market I just want to see Nintendo do all of the following do you want to just go by these one at a time yeah okay and then we'll make significantly shorter comments on each one <laughs> than we did the first time. Yep. So do all the following. Number one, make the online service actually worth something subscribing to and make me happy to be supporting it. You know, just like this channel. I appreciate the latter part of this comment. Thank you. Uh, the former part, I agree, but I disagree with the idea that like the current service isn't worth subscribing to. I think it's not as worthy of Keep talking. I'm going to check out my dog because he's going okay. crazy. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't think but, it's as know, worthy as the other subscription services, but also it's $20 and not $60. So there's that. Um, I do agree that it needs to be better, though. Um, as somebody that plays Smash Brothers and hates playing against people online because black sucks. That's not great. And I would prefer to not have to deal with it. Um, so yeah, it would be cool. But at the same time, I also think that them making it in the eyes of most people more worth $20 will then prompt them to charge more than $20. And I don't know if people would be happy about that, but I mean, that's economics, you know? Um, so there's that. I don't want to move. I was going to move on, but I don't want to move on because Parker might have something to say about this. So we'll wait for him to come back and I'll just talk more about the idea of Switch Online. I think that if they continue to up the value of like what they already have on offer in terms of like more of the noteworthy SNES games and the they have no more noteworthy NES games unless they can get Mega Man, which is not going to happen, um, or other third party games, I guess, that they don't currently have. Um, then that could up the current value. And I think like SNES, they have plenty of SNES games that they can pull from. I think that that can make it more worth $20. Uh, But as far as like the online infrastructure and all the other stuff, to improve that, they need to invest more and that's going to cost more money. I think for them, the $20 value is not just about like what you're getting, but also what they're able to do in the future and what we'll get later from that investment. Because before, if... The online service isn't making money. It's not worth investing money in. 
So where at, where as consumers we see it and we're like, well, before it was free, so now it should be free. Uh, I think that that's approaching it in the wrong way because Nintendo more so sees it as it doesn't cost them money, so we don't have to invest money in it. But now we are, so it's worth investing money in. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I was talking to the listeners. The people. dead air sucks, and nobody wants to edit this that much. Oh, fully agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I agree. I was being silly. But I agree with what AJ just said, because um, I can presume it, what most of it was. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. So, I, I yeah, I agree about, like, adding more value to it is cool. I don't similarly don't necessarily agree that it doesn't have that value already, but more isn't a bad thing. So why not? Yes. Um, next up, organize the systems eShop so it's easier to browse and find certain games you're looking for. Uh, the thing we said before too is like, I think it's not that hard to find the games you're looking for, but finding new games to play isn't really, you know, super great right now. Yes. And oh wait, we didn't even get to Grimhane's comment this nope, time or recording. Not yet. I made a joke about making Chris Slate play all the games. <laughs> uh, so true. just do that and have him organize the eShop with games that are good. Games that Chris Slate says are five stars out of five mm-hmm. stars, you know? And that's the ones. Um the system's home menu, I would say needs some quality of life additions to it. Yeah. I think, yeah, it depends on but also don't clutter it. Yeah. Logically. <laughs> yeah. So, or even visually, like any of that kind of also stuff. That. Like, there's, yeah, it would be nice if there were things like full themes. It would. It don't. You might have to repeat what you just. You might have to repeat what you just said. <laughs> and then there you go. It's uh, the things. Yep. They, they did it. <laughs> they sure did. They did. Um, themes and folders and stuff. It would be cool. Yes. Long story short, basically. Mm -hmm. But also, if they clutter up the system, then like make them optional. Yes. Um, Next up, Drift to be a complete non-issue for the original Switch, Switch Lite, and any future model that might that Nintendo might make in the future of the platform. This one, I think, is the most important thing for them to do outside of just releasing good games, (laughs) you know, for this next year. Right. Just... Yeah, it's, I think it's stopping people. It's hurting their brand to a certain degree to not address it, at least. Um, and and it's causing some people to not even buy the console for it, as we've seen in some comments. Yeah. I, don't, I think that as people deepen this, <laughs> we kind of exaggerate the impact in that regard. Yes. I definitely agree 1,000%. They need to fix it. But yeah. I don't think that it's like this it, like thing that's going to end Switch. Because like, if you think about no, yeah, yeah. the fact that like NES, like NES had like at least a 50% failure rate <laughs> of like just stuff just straight up not working. Mm. But NES still more or less built Nintendo for right. the company that we know they are now. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I definitely think that for our sake and for other like enthusiasts that are like looking into this stuff and they know that Joy-Con Drift is like this established issue and everybody's making YouTube videos about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those people, peace of, people's peace of mind and the, their immediate like friend group and family that like they complain to about this where it's like Mm -hmm. the switch freaking sucks because joy con drift like to help their peace of mind i think that they definitely need to fix it um Mm -hmm. but i don't know if it's like this huge crutch on like the success of switch because like uh even compared to like other like successes it's still outpacing ps4 yeah so but devil's advocate it could be outpacing it even more (laughs) it's true so yeah that stuff and then the last one on here is give us a way to locally back up save data without subscribing to the online service if possible yes yep would be great and uh finally finishes by saying i'd say something about nintendo's release schedule for switch but honestly i really don't see that being an issue seeing how the switch gets both new releases and new game announcements every week of every month Yes, that's true. And also, I think that, like, the further we get into the Switch's life, the less, and I mean, it it feels kind of sucky to say, or not sucky, Mm -hmm. but, like, it feels weird to say because, like, so much of our thing is talking about new stuff and what's happening Mm -hmm. next. 
new games matter less the longer the Switch is alive. Yeah, because <laughs> anybody like, coming into it now, there's a huge backlog for them to play. Right, and, and even like, people that currently have one. Yeah. Like, I'm not chomping at the bit for a new game because, like, the, the worst case scenario, I'll just keep playing Smash Brothers, you know? <laughs> and I yeah. think most people do have at least one of those games where it's like, well, I'll just play Mario Kart or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Um, obviously, you would prefer to have new experiences, but I don't mm-hmm. think they're as imperative as they were in, like, even the first three years. Yep, it's true. Next comment um, from Brandon Hagen said, I'm just going to say it. Parker's rocking the hell out of that shirt. Thank you very much. Uh, Parker I, said hell on the internet. For the first I did. Time. Look at that. Well, second time. I said it earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's true. But it wasn't on the internet. You know me? Oh, that's true. Yeah, now it's the internet. Look at that. Um, also, such a well thought out and eloquent video. You really are a good writer and speaker. Thanks, friend. That's I nice. agree. Thanks. Um, but then I the guess, I guess part- that like the fact that you're here says I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. And then the main part of the comment says, I hope they do a major Star Fox release sometime soon. And also there has to be major Mario game. I agree. I think they'll definitely do Mario. Mario is in the army. And yeah. Like major Mario. Mario. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Reporting for duty. <laughs> true he i mean he's skipped straight into being a doctor so like if he That's can do true. that yeah i mean he can climb the ranks of the military yeah but can. yeah definitely mario game i think the ones that i could see being likely are mario golf of some sort May, maybe some kind of mario platformer a probably 3d world port um you and, know what i want and i don't know uh and this is and paper like, mario this is the thing that also hurts me because I also don't like this game. <laughs> but just despite Bob, mm-hmm. I went through a holiday game to be Mario plus Rabbids too. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> I feel oh, like Bob man. would be so upset yep. if that was the case. What a time. I it would it. be fantastic. Would just because Bob is entertaining when he's angry. <laughs> It's true. It is funny hearing him talking about because, like, his take seems to be that the reason Mario plus Rabbits happened was because there wasn't a Mario game yet. Which, I mean, I could see some of that for sure. But I, I think he's saying that the the reason why it happened is no, 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 no. Sorry, not happened. The reason why it was such a success, yeah, right, is what right, I meant right, to right, say. Right, right, right. Um, which I think there's an element of that for sure. But I think also, like, for a lot of people, it was. Uh, they, it's just like word of mouth and any of that kind of stuff. But I mean, there's there's and because a man that. cried, a man did E3. cry, and also it was just that early in the Switch lifespan that like a lot of things sold well then. Oh snap! I just thought. Never mind. E3 being canceled is going to freaking kill Mario oh, Plus no. Rabbits too. Because no you can't tears. cry during a Nintendo Direct. Nope. They're going to edit that out. Oh, what a set. They just like in the middle of <laughs> Mario plus rabbits too. He's got three guns. Da, 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 and just shows a guy crying. Just like, yeah, look at this man cry. <laughs> got it. So that's perfect. A, that's one casualty of E3. Yep. Uh, but Star Fox. Yeah. We talked about this more earlier, but um, it was, mm-hmm. I agree that there should yes. be more Star Fox, things. more Star Fox, but not Star Fox in the way that Star Fox has existed before because yep. Ain't nobody paying $60 for that. True. I don't know if we've made a single Star Fox video since Logan has, uh, hasn't been around on the channel. Yeah, no, because I feel like if I make a Star Fox video, it's going to be too long. And it's, <laughs> it'd just be a whole That's thing. why you make 100 Star Fox videos that are each 30 yeah, seconds but, long. Like, what if Star Fox uh, was successful? Then maybe I would do that. <laughs> people would care. But true, unfortunately, maybe people care about hearing about Star Fox. Um, but yeah, they should do Star Fox, it would be a grand old time. A grand free, <laughs> oh, we got there. Um, Grimane left a comment, and here it goes. We may not know a lot about 2020 specifically, but we know Nintendo has games. I know so sleep. much about 2020. Dude. I know that a lot of people are freaking NDA. out about NDA. it. <laughs> Nintendo <Also>. NDA. <laughs> um, not really. They have a lot up their sleeve from Bayo 3 to Breath of the Wild 2 to Pikmin 4. Maybe since it's <laughs> been, I didn't notice that earlier that it said Pikmin. Um, uh, maybe since it's been worked on for, I don't know how long now to Metroid Prime Trilogy and Metroid Prime 4. Nintendo has been focusing on Animal Crossing in a very major way, which I think is why we're not getting any news of other games. They want this early quarter to be about Animal Crossing. I'd speculate either shortly before or after Animal Crossing launches that we'll get news of what Nintendo has in store, be it through the March Direct or from Twitter because Nintendo can do whatever they want. 
goes on to say, I don't have a list of must-haves for the Switch OS, just things that would be nice add-ons, themes, folders, and overhaul of the eShop in no particular order. The first two are pretty self-explanatory and simple to implement, so I won't go on about them. The eShop is built, or the eShop though is a bit of a mess. There should be some sort of ranking system if they're worried about, if, if there should be some sort of ranking system, if they're worried about review bombs, just make the game require, or make, just require the purchase of the game. Goodness gracious. Yeah. I rather doubt most people would buy a game just to cast a single bad review for it. Depends on the price of the game, is my thoughts. Mm. TM Parker. Uh, I think all- even if the game is $60, if they care enough, they'll buy Oh, yeah. I mean, there will be a lot fewer people, so it shouldn't be that significant. People but like- bought Pokemon Sword and Shield just to say, like, see, I bought it. It sucks. <laughs> it's true. Um do to do they also need to fine-tune the hot deals and best sellers to adjust for devs selling their games at crazy low prices for a limited time to get high sales and then pushing them back to higher prices obviously this is a harder thing to balance than it sounds sales are still sales but if you have a 20 dollar game that's on sale for a dollar of course that game is going to do well at one buck so they'd need to account for those kinds of games versus the 60 dollar ones that go on sale for 40 i don't know if i've explained that well but i'll trust you both have a good idea of what i mean and then this is where Parker made a joke about no Grimhain knowing that. How'd you know we were going to read this comment? Because you said both. Look yep. at that. He did. Whoa. He did. Or maybe he thinks that you're Yugi and you have a, a pharaoh living in your soul. I do. I am the, uh, oh, what's the demon blade from Soul Eater that um, we started watching Soul Eater. It's pretty good. It's an anime. Oh, that's the, the, the show with the yeah. girl with the It's from a while anime. ago. It's from... Thing. No, that's Slayer. I was thinking of something else. Never mind. I don't know. This is from 2008. Thinking, it's an anime. Freaking Demon it's on Slayer Netflix. With the girl with the scroll in her mouth. Oh, yeah. This, that's no squirrels show. in this one. Not squirrel. Scroll. S- no squirrels in this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Um, I agree. Um, I think that they need Chris Lake to be the hero to save us all. True. I think, yeah, I mean, the main, we gave some examples of thoughts that, I'm sorry we're doing, like, I hate <laughs> to keep saying, like, we talked about this, but we did. So, it, it is what it is. Um, we gave some examples of some things they could maybe do, but then kind of the consensus that came to at the end was, like, it mostly just seems like Nintendo just doesn't seem to care that much about doing this and yeah. i don't know why specifically there are a couple of reasons that could make sense other than like ah, if it ain't broke don't fix it and as far as they're concerned it's, it ain't broke so um but it would be nice to see them try something you know because right now they're just not doing anything yeah now we can go to q a which i just noticed we don't do last week's comments no more on the q a right yeah that well i did check last week's comments I stopped doing them at some points because we had so many Q&A and then we stopped getting quite as many qualitative comments. So it's uh, um, Catch-22. You as it messed were. it up. You messed Feel it free up. to leave comments on this video about how the internet messes everything up. Yeah. So there do it is. That. <laughs> yep. All right, comments. Here we go. Duncan from asks, this is from Discord first. Duncan asks, what games are you guys going to be playing in quarantine during the coming apocalypse? Uh, Animal Crossing and Smash Brothers. Animal Crossing, Which, that comes, I'm, comes out. I'm sad about Smash Brothers. I didn't talk about this, but there's like this whole thing with Smash Brothers where it's like they're going to do a Smash Brothers uh, freaking world tour thing. Uh, Smash tour. And it's like this circuit of smash brothers tournaments and they're going to like the, the not nintendo mm-hmm. nintendo's not involved in this but they're mm-hmm. like the company that like streams most of the tournaments and stuff like that they're like investing a lot of money in prize pools and stuff like that and it's like this big deal um but a lot of that is like in shambles now because like a lot of tournaments mm, are getting canceled yeah. and stuff so it's like i have That's less lame. entertainment <laughs> and smash brothers players to learn from because nobody's going to go to tournaments because then they'll die or it's something true or something I'll be playing Animal Crossing when it comes out. And in the meantime, I'm playing some Wunderling. And um, I'll go back to Nino Kuni and play that. Also, I have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker that I got for Christmas that I haven't really started yet. So Yo, maybe I'm Ashley and I'll play some of that. the last part of that. Yeah. Product provided by Nintendo. <laughs> Indeed. It'll be interesting to do with Ashley, though, because I think we both play. Again, I'm a oh, completionist. Yeah, they had a co-op now. Yeah. So I played it with Asher, um, my godson. And... 
he like I, I'm gonna try to get you know every diamond or crystal whatever it is and all the coins and co- complete it yeah. um, but then when I played it with him we played on his profile that we created because that ain't the way I play um, for him to he was we were just going to the star and like who cares about the collectibles we're trying to get to the next level and so it was just funny to be like all right sure that's how we're gonna play it <laughs> whatever I'm not gonna tell you how to play it my way because we only have 30 minutes to play anyway. So that's what I'll be playing. Uh, Cowboy is. said, will you be quarantining your islands in Animal Crossing New Horizon? <laughs> uh, no. The closest thing I'm doing to that is I see islanders come to my island that I don't like. And I'm like, I don't like you. Get off my island. And I'm going to kick them all. Cause kick them all the way. Some of the animals freaking suck. I will be quarantining my island in Animal Crossing New Horizon. Thank you very much. I don't know what that'll look like. Um, probably I'll just leave everybody. Everybody's got to stay just, within gotta, the world of Animal Crossing. They can't come out in the real world. You that's, dig holes around the their house rules. so they can't come out the door. It's true. I don't I'll think that good. works on the animals, though. I think mm. that only works on actual players. We can do some of that. Uh, Mega Man asks, uh, and this is, I'm sure from the wolf den thing originally yeah. mustard or no mustard on your burgers hashtag fanatics foods no mustard because mustard's freaking i hate mustard yeah you're dumb the, the honey mustard's good I honey, like mustard honey mustard is good also well, regular mustard sucks. mustard is good nope no it's regular. actually <laughs> so this mustard. is a, a little known you know, fact i saw so hold on wait somebody said something and i forgot who it was and i'm sorry if this is somebody that listens to us but it was real dumb and i was like what <laughs> <laughs> but somebody said mustard sour. I was like, "What?" Oh. <laughs> that was uh, that was Miss Click who. Uh, oh, a- okay. Yeah, I still think what you said is dumb, but like you're cool. Um, <laughs> what? She doesn't listen to us. She's a streamer. I know. I'm, okay. I'm aware she doesn't, but oh, like gotcha. Bob does. So maybe Bob will tell her. Who knows? I don't know. Other. I mean, you can tell like her on Twitter. Like that's true but but yeah no um that it's the closest thing that it is to anything would probably be spicy i mean it's it's not but like definitely it's definitely way closer to being spicy yeah than sour it's spicy in the same way that wasabi spicy which i still spicy isn't the right word for it but like Mm -hmm. it's a variety of spicy so i think it's spicy in the way that like little kids think pepperonis are spicy I can see that. That said, pepperoni probably is like a tiny little bit spicy. <laughs> sometimes. If you get like dried pepperoni or whatever, there's been some times I'm like, that's got a little bit of spice to it. Because I mean, also I- there's like spicy mm-hmm. variants of both. This is very true. That are like specifically called spicy. But sour was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> very confusing. But yeah, no, no mustard. Get that out of my face. I... Uh, vehemently disagree see this is um, why i don't like mcdonald's mm. like it, and if i go to mcdonald's i'm getting like chicken selects or what do they call them now they call them something else mm. uh some other crap butter buttermilk tenders or some crap. yeah yeah that's it um yeah for me it depends on like there's kind of different like categories of how you're going to do burgers. If it's like a deluxe kind of a thing if we're talking like fast food if it's deluxe in that it's got you know lettuce tomatoes um onions etc pickles i also i worked at burger king for a while so like i know so many things about fast food burgers like, and that was another thing know. that i was confused about bob said that like outside of new york they put mustard on burger king burgers i've never in my life oh 100 percent. yeah i've never in my life seen mustard well on okay king but burger. do you get when you say you get burger are you talking about a whopper yes okay that is the difference. So if it's a, a Whopper or something that has lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles, it's uh, mustard and ketchup. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. Mayo and ketchup. Okay. A little bit of mayo. I, and then usually a say get the, of- I usually say get the mayo out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> because, I, like, I'm they, also not a – I'm general, fine with mayo in that context, but like not just much Just in it. general, sauce at restaurants – probably garbage because they always overdo it that's that's the truth also thing. like i don't yeah. care how much mustard you put on it mustard no none so but <laughs> if you get just like hey could i have a double cheeseburger or a cheeseburger or a hamburger or something yes. like that and you order that that doesn't come with all the stuff on it then it's a swirl of mustard a swirl of ketchup and pickles that's terrible so that's the way to do it no man that's like <laughs> if, you, if you grill out like that's how 
that's a good a good burger for no out i don't put ketchup. mustard on anything unless yeah. it's honey mustard honey mustard. also just mustard in general is great no um, it's not <laughs> yeah it is so there you go i mean must barbecue sauce is largely see barbecue barbecue is sauce? largely mustard and better. ketchup with smoke the, stuff in it way better so yeah but that's like saying the, the, see this is the thing this is the thing that's like saying whenever people are like oh you freaking like tomatoes because you like ketchup and it's like no it's, i like freaking tomatoes with other things it's if i don't have barbecue sauce and i want to dip my fries some but there's just mustard and ketchup i'll just mix mustard and ketchup together and it's within the within the nah, there's so much more there's so sauce. many more things in in that freaking equation i mean there are but that's closer to it and it's great I yeah mayo Must the only mayo a little bit of mayo on sandwiches I'm down with that and then specifically in Belgium frites and Belgian mayo is great that's it that's the only way they that put I like. mustard on burgers in Belgium no good usually. oh I mean yeah I'm sure depending no, on what you late. get you already said that's that's you don't, so that means that it was correct striker let me know well so what I'm thinking of is there's a there's a restaurant called. But Quick. they have their own mustard. Um, oh, there's a restaurant <laughs> called Quick, which is pretty much like McDonald's, but it's it's bad. It's like the but fast it's, food it's, restaurant. But it's faster. And, yeah, it's actually not though. It's like because it's really expensive to hire people in Europe in general, um, just because taxes and stuff. Yeah, and, and also they, they, it's not like the tip thing where it's like, oh, right. you're going to pay you two dollars and then yeah. you'll live off the tips. So. so like, Quick was just. I mean, maybe it's changed now, but at least when I was living there, it was just really funny because it was like it's called Quick and it's the opposite, which is you know whatever it is what it is. Is it Quick? Spell it like regular Quick. Yep. Oh, okay. Because so there's there a European Samus player. It's fast, Elizabeth, and his name's uh, Quick. <laughs> maybe and he's a fast food restaurant. He probably likes mustard because he plays Samus, and Samus is toxic, and mustard is gross. <laughs> mustard is great. You're wrong. Lord Commander <laughs> Grimhain said, when you, when you have cereal, do you put the cereal in, then add the milk, or the milk, and then add the cereal? Do people exist that actually put the milk first? I've experienced Are you going one? to tell me you're going to put the milk first? No, okay. for the reason that like, I don't know how much cereal I'm going to want, <laughs> but I know the ratio obviously of like milk to cereal. So I'm going to put in, I want this much cereal today. And then from there I can be like, okay, so then once the milk is showing this amount, then like we're good. But if I put milk in first, I don't know how that's going to proportion out with the cereal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe if there's maybe people that like milk more than I like milk. That's also possible. Cause milk is like. Or if you more, pour the same amount every time, that also... It's more of a necessity than it is, like, yeah. something that I would prefer, you know? I mean, like also if, thinking if about cereal it... cereal with, like, water wasn't gross, <laughs> I might even prefer that. <laughs> but the, it would be gross. The, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, just, like, the rationale behind what the purpose of each thing is doing. Like, are you... Is this person thinking about cereal as, like... I'm adding something to my milk. Like I'm adding yeah, yeah, cereal yeah, yeah, to yeah. my like milk. Is, like is, is cereal a conduit for milk or for the cereal itself? Right. For them. Yeah. Like so, it's like the carrot on the stick, uh -huh. the flavored milk at the end. Or yeah. Is it right. The cereal itself. So for me, yeah, a hundred percent. It's this is the cereal, and then the milk is helping that to be a better overall experience thing. Yeah. yeah. Let us know in the comments though if you do the other way around and why you're great. <laughs> In other words, this is a test to see if you're a psychopath. <laughs> uh, questions from Twitter. Falcon said, Fanatics 4 movie when? Uh, when we have 15 million subscribers and we don't talk to each other anymore, we have like assistance for our assistance. And I'm mm -hmm. like, tell Parker, I mean, tell Parker's assistant's assistant to tell his assistant that the Parker needs to freaking get it together. I'm offended. <laughs> you think that my assistant would talk to your assistant? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um yep that's when that'll do it and it'll be just what'll it be about oh some something really good you don't even know yet but you, you will don't even know uh jordan asks what's your guess for the nintendo holiday game it's going to be mario plus rabbits too just to spite <laughs> um real guesses i could see mario Hello? Kart Nine happening Did you just but... undermine my guess yes unfortunately that's crazy <laughs> yep um i this is a loaded question. 
what? And I don't feel like going all the way into it right now, but my just like off the cuff guesses. Oh, Breath of the Wild too. Uh, maybe yeah, maybe Breath of the Wild two, maybe Mario Kart nine. I think it's gonna be Metro Prime four. I think they're done with it. Mm. They finished it, and it's gonna yep. come out. It's going, but here's the twist: it's Metro Prime four in dreams. So it's going, it's going to be a PlayStation four on a Switch cart. Yep. You know. You did it. A whole PlayStation 4 on a yep. Switch card. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be um, like a freaking, you ever see like a, um, like the, like the freaking Genesis thing where like, it's like the CD. Sega. I've seen Leviticus, that's for sure. Sure. <laughs> but no, the Sega thing where you put it in there and you put the cart in there, you put the cart in the cart. Sonic oh. plus Knuckles, Sonic okay, 3 and yeah. Knuckles, that whole situation. I see that's what it's going to be. It's going to be like a Switch Cart, uh-huh. but like it like protrudes out mm-hmm. and then it's like a thing you know perfect like cart, yeah. mm-hmm. those you playstation discs inside those are the guesses the that's cart. the one <laughs> yep. um another question here we go from nookie blossom gang are y'all staying hydrated of course i have so much water right here See? mine is all gone that's how much i drank it's also a very small cup so i have a big old, big old bottle so very hydrated. You wouldn't even believe how hydrated I am. My body is 70% water at this very moment. I <laughs> bet that mine is 72%. Mine is 150% water. Risotto asked, and this is the last one. This is the <laughs> final thing. Um, we did it. Technology didn't fail us a second a time. A second time. As I mean, much. it did. Ultimately, it did. It did. It, I feel like this is the worst podcast. Ultimately, I mean, yes, we were having. A <laughs> but great you old time. tell us in the comments below <laughs> if the imaginary podcast was better than the yeah, no, one just, that uh, no, 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 specifically if this one's bad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we're sorry. Uh, Risotto asked, "Mother or Earthbound?" Well, here's the thing. Risotto thinks that this is a trick question, but those are also two different things. I'm, I guarantee you that they ask this as like, I gotcha, like, ah, but technically, yeah. mother is mother one, and yeah. Earthbound is mother two. Yep. So. I mean, or maybe Risotto knew that we'd know that, which because, or yeah, or maybe they're just asking like, what should this series be known as? You know as? that mother two was a doki doki thing? <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> But, but obviously, Earthbound, if this is an actual comparison between Mother 1 and Mother 2. Yeah, because Mother 1 aged terribly. There it is. And that's why they did Earthbound Beginnings, and they tried to, to like, fix it up. But ultimately, you know, Earthbound still better. I've actually never played Mother 1, so I don't know. How dare you? Pretty easily. I don't I have mean, access to it. <laughs> good. Good. Like, I mean, if they put it on NSO, maybe I'll finally get around to it. Wait, but. is it not on uh, 3DS? Oh, oh uh, I don't. Maybe, probably. I so I would have access to it. I just don't have it purchased. Anyway. <sighs> How dare you? Oh, actually, is it on the NES? The original, the uh, NES Classic. No. I don't no. think so. Then no. No, I think that it's on the Japanese version. Well, actually, no. I don't even think that the Mother one is. I think Earthbound might be in the Japanese. Is it only on? Oh, because the only re the only re release of it was on Wii. Oh no, freaking Earthbound's on the SNES Classic. Earthbound's on the SNES. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I I don't know about the the library of games Mm -hmm. on the Switch. Like I don't know if Mother or Mother. Oh, it's yeah. Neither of them are on the. uh, I know it's not on American one. But I'm saying oh, I don't know if it's on Japanese. Version. I doubt it. I feel like we'd know because people would make a big stink about it when it happens. They're like, they got that and we didn't get it. Blah, blah, blah. That's true. That's true. You know what else is true? We're done with this podcast. It's over. Um, hopefully it's it successfully made it to your listening place of choice. Uh, you should rate and review. Which is probably your ears, just as a heads up. I was talking about platform, but. Uh, also, but it's probably their ears. That's also true. That's also true. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, but if you rate us, don't rate us on the merits of this episode. Rate us on <laughs> a better one. Give us five. We also, hours. in the last time, we read out somebody's comment that they left on a podcast that was so nice. But it it we'll read nice. it next time. We'll read give them a shout time. out. And in addition to your comments, if you let me read them, I mean, leave them with your. Is there comments. anywhere besides Apple Podcasts to leave? reviews because that's the only one that i know that that's up to the listener slash viewer to let me know 
do does your platform do ratings and if so youtube doesn't anymore we'll find it i mean it does technically click the thumbs up button but no more stars okay goodbye Bye.